Hey guys, it's the next day and we are going to see my neighbor come back and help me. He's going to bring his little disc and he's going to disc the onion patch, which it looks like we've marked off about, I don't know, I should bring my tape measure down here, maybe 10 or 15 feet. And uh, I was reading last night that between the rows, between the fertilizer rows of onions, it needs to be 36 inches. So I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I think that's two rows of onions within 36 inches, but I'm not clear on that. So anyway, I'm down here a few minutes ahead of schedule and We'll just wait for him to get here. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can wait. Sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. Right. You and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Okay, my neighbor Derek said that he thinks that this is going to be dry enough this afternoon. I mean, it's still quite wet, <laughs> but he thinks it's going to be dry enough this afternoon for me to bring the tiller down here. And since I had a little run through with him the other day on the tiller, I am hoping that I can do this myself. We'll see. So check out this soil. It didn't dry out much from yesterday. It's definitely moist, but not not too bad. Got a lot of clay in the soil. But hopefully I can get this transformed in the next couple of days.
Close to being done with the crosswise, I wanted to really do it crosswise because there's more of a slope this way than that way up on this end. And so I just wanted to really get it good this way. And there's a bit of a bump in the middle, it's not flat. So, um, you know, I got this big pine tree up here that has big roots down there. I think I laid out this garden just too close to it because I had a big root. It was about three inches in diameter. It didn't show up. I didn't see it. I hit it, jammed the blades, so the motor started overheating. I got the engine shut off and I'm letting it cool off. I wanted to actually go at a diagonal and do this, do it this way. It will depend on whether I can get that thing going again. And because it drops off this way and this way, I'm gonna have erosion if I don't set my rows in a curve. I got a little bit better at getting around the corners. That's a hard thing. Going down the rows is no biggie. It drives itself and you just kind of ha have to hang on and make sure you don't fall under it. <laughs> but, you know, turning it around, and I remember last year Justin was he would put it in reverse and walk it back because it, it doesn't 
cultivate backwards. <laughs> so, um, but I, I don't want to be changing the gears. The, it, the gear is not that easy to go back and forth. So I don't want to be doing that because the rows are only 15 feet long. So um, you, you barely get a chance to relax walking down the row. And then you gotta, oh, you gotta manhandle this thing. I am getting so strong though. I am gonna be in such shape for skiing. Oh my gosh, I already feel. Look at that. <laughs> wow, this is my broken arm, remember? Comminuted fracture right here. <sighs> All right, so um, I'm gonna go get something to eat and um, We'll see how the day progresses. Maybe I'll just upload this by itself. Um, depends on what happens with the tiller. But um, the reason it didn't start last night is because it was too low on gas. And the reason is because when I tipped it up too high walking it down the hill, I think, because it had gas in it, so I don't know how that happened. But anyway, I got a great neighbor. He came down this morning, he texted me this morning, he said, do you need me to come down there? And I said, that would be great. <laughs> so, uh, he had it started like that. He brought some gas, just a quart of gas, and then I went and got some gas uh, out of the shop, and he got it started, so I just left it going the whole time. It's been going solid for two hours. I didn't want to cut the engine, because I didn't, I didn't want to try to have to start it. My shoulder's so sore. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow my journey here uh, to create a homestead where I can grow my own food and be more sustainable. So God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.